Hey, welcome to Zach's Tech Turf. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at must-have free software for your new PC. These programs are in no particular order and they're my personal opinion. Once they're installed, your computer's gonna feel like a fully oiled machine ready to work. So, let's get into it. Also, before we get started, let me introduce to you the sponsor of this video, YoYo Social Media, which is a company of social media experts. They have been helping me get way more exposure on social media and they can help you too. Their info is in the description down below. First thing I recommend doing is heading over to Ninite.com. This website allows you to select programs that you want to download, then it will create an executable file which will download and install the programs you selected without you having to click next a bunch of times. Because of this, I'll start with the programs that I recommend that are available on Ninite. First you want an internet browser. I personally prefer Chrome because of the Google ecosystem and how easily it runs on computers, but make sure you check out this video here where I recently test out which internet browser is the best for you. Next you should download some sort of online storage platform. Platform. Online storage has become seamless over the last few years and I definitely recommend backing up your data or at least some of your non-sensitive data in the cloud. I personally use Google Drive because like I said, I like Google, but you can pick whatever you want. Next up we have security. For security, I 100% recommend Malwarebytes. Malwarebytes has a free and premium option for protecting your computer against malware. It's super user friendly and runs extremely lightweight in the background. Next up for media applications, I recommend VLC. VLC has become my go-to for anything media related because it can play almost any type of file. Also for media, I included Audacity in this list. This may not apply to all of you, but if you do any sort of voice or sound recording, this is about as good as it gets for free software. I use Audacity to record all of my audio for Zach's Tech Turf. Next up is a file compression software for unzipping and things like that, and I recommend 7-Zip. 7-Zip can handle probably any file that you're throwing at it, and it runs very lightweight. The next thing to download is your gaming platforms of choice. Steam is the obvious one here, but there are a lot of other good games on other platforms such as Origin and Battle.net. I personally have all three of these, Origin for Need for Speed and Battlefield, and Battle.net for Diablo and Overwatch. Make sure you check out can you run Overwatch without a graphics card video? Linked in the upper right hand corner. For gaming as well, I recommend downloading the software Fraps. Fraps is a great program that lets you benchmark your frames per second to tweak your video settings perfectly and you can also use this for recording your screen. You can check out this video for my tutorial on how to use it. One more software for gaming is either Nvidia GeForce Experience or AMD Gaming Evolved depending on your graphics card. These clients are an excellent way to always have your GPU driver updated, optimize the settings for your games, and even record your gameplay. Moving away from gaming into a more serious note, I recommend downloading an office or productivity suite for your school or work needs. I personally download OpenOffice because it's free and you can easily save your files to open up in Microsoft Office and be compatible. Finally, my last piece of software that you need to keep your computer running smoothly is CCleaner. This application is perfect because it cleans up your internet browsing junk that will start to clutter your machine. It can also fix registry errors which can bog down your machine after a while. Well that's my list for must have free software on a new PC. I pretty much download all these programs on every new PC that I build or that I work on. I love the feeling of having a smoothly running machine. Make sure you let me know in the comment section if I missed anything. Well I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please drop a like down below to help support my channel. And as always, thank you for watching and please subscribe for more Zach's Tech Turf videos.